Hi, this is Dr. Shannon Wong. I'm going to describe a case of laser cataract surgery using the Technus Toric or astigmatism correcting lens implant in a patient with granular corneal dystrophy. This is the patient's second eye that is receiving laser cataract surgery. We did the first eye a week earlier and the visual outcome was excellent so the patient and I decided to proceed with lens X laser cataract surgery to the second eye here. You can see we've docked the lens X laser and we're imaging the capsule and you can see there are artifacts on the capsule and lens that are cast by the corneal opacities associated with granular corneal dystrophy. You can see the lens has these black shadows which are areas where the OCT cannot image the lens and anterior capsule quite right. Here's a, uh, in the lower right corner, is a uh, horizontal view of the corneal incisions that we're going to make, the astigmatic incision. They all look good. So the patient's lined up, everything is looking good, and we proceed with the laser ablation of the lens first. The capsulotomy is created. It measures 4.8 millimeters in diameter. You'll see later in this video the characteristic of the capsulotomy that is different than usual due to the shadows that are cast on the capsule by the corneal dystrophy opacities. This image is from the initial part of the uh, cataract removal. We open our femtosecond laser incisions, insert endocote, viscoelastic to protect the corneal endothelium, and tampon on the lens. We open the primary incision and then place a bent needle cystotome on the endocote. And unlike most laser capsulotomies, this capsulotomy has tags that we anticipated from the granular dystrophy opacities that were blocking the delivery of the femtosecond laser. So we have to gently separate these adhesions which are probably about 20 percent of the capsulotomy periphery. One could argue that we could have just done a manual capsulotomy and it would have worked just as well. However, this patient did have the same procedure the week prior on the other eye and everything went so well we just decided to proceed with lens X capsulotomy on this second eye as well. Plus we did want to discover how the lens X laser performed on patients with this type of condition, which is a rare corneal condition. Here we're starting our usual fake emulsification. We use the um, second instrument, which is an Olsen chopper made by Epsilon Instruments. I love this little instrument. It, it helps me in so many different ways from cracking a lens to spinning it to maneuvering the iris in patients who have a myotic iris intraoperatively. We just do our usual divide and conquer technique, but we're careful to um, watch the edge of the capsulotomy to, make, ca capsulotomy to make sure that it stays intact, which it does. Once we've removed the whole lens, we use the 
um, singer sweeper to polish the posterior surface of the anterior capsule. This instrument is also manufactured by Epsilon Instruments and works very well. Here we then insert the Technus Toric lens. This patient had about two and a half diopters of astigmatism. We were able to obtain a reliable keratometry reading using the lens star prior to surgery. We normally use the aura intraoperative aberometer, but due to these corneal opacities, the aura was unable to obtain a reliable measurement. We have used the LensX laser to mark the cornea uh, and create alignment marks for this lens. And so it's very easy to properly align this and any other toric lens in the eye. We just line it up, line up the lens marks with the corneal marks created by the LensX laser. So the marks are now at about 12, 15, and 6, 15, and they're aligned with the corneal marks. So the lens is now in perfect position, and this patient saw great from both eyes the next day. She had a spherical result and was very pleased with her vision. So this is just another case that's interesting because it demonstrates laser cataract surgery in the presence of granular corneal dystrophy. Thank you for your time and attention.